So what we did is we interviewed 140 people, or actually 200 people, but in 144 settings with five local artists. We interviewed them, we asked what for missing in your Stadt, so what are you missing in Graz? They had like a conversation of about 15 to 20 minutes and then they made drawings. So we have 140 visions of people. And then after three days, we summarize these visions into four bigger visions. And this is ein nachhaltiger Graz, so more sustainable Graz. And the idea is that it's of course a cycle where people and trees come together. So it's man, oh, you know, man and uh, nature together. And central is the old thinking. The old thinking is we have to consume as much as possible. So everything we make has to die out or has to be broken so we can consume more. And so we do more plastics and, and worse equipment. This is the idea that we want to propose. The things that are good, and that means eco-friendly, people-friendly, get rewarded because they, they cost less. And the things that are bad become more expensive. So now you can still build with concrete because it's cheap and actually it's bad for the environment. When it becomes expensive, we won't do it anymore. So you also have to change policy on that. And then we have this whole uh, circle of ideas. One of them, of course, is that you use your farmland on a different way. So you don't need animals anymore to kill them because you can, with just a little bit of cells, you can already make meat. You can also replace meat so they can retire and go to be a musicians. And then you can use all of the grains and the harvest you have, could be hennep, could be all kinds of things. Actually, in a clean factory, of course, you can use it to have bio-based materials. With bio-based materials, you can build buildings. It's not only wood, it can also be mushrooms or hemp or other kinds of grains. And that means our buildings are more healthy. The Luft is sauber, more sauber, you know. And it's, of course, uh, biodegradable. So afterwards, you can bring it back to nature. But also it means that with these things, you can make local shops that are more eco-friendly, people-friendly. So again, we should help uh, shops that are more local and fair, give them more energy and power than shops that are like chains and doing bad for the environment. Now it's vice versa. Here again, you can build out of recycling. So the idea is that it's a complete system. Then if we go here, you have the idea that half of the oxygen in the world is from water. A lot of people don't know that. They think photosynthesis is only for trees, which we need, of course, a lot of. But the bacteria in water also do photosynthesis, so half of the oxygen in the world comes from water. So you have to take care of your water, so you get better air, so you get greener parts, but also sobere, saubere Luft. This is the idea of shared economy, you probably know this already. The idea is that if you are a company that makes stuff, you keep the stuff, you don't sell it, you rent it out to people, so you make better stuff. So the shared economy has different ways, share knowledge, share products, but don't always just consume and produce. Again, modern technology can help, more transparent things like blockchain and so on, so we have to use this, and of course, green energy. This is the Nahaltic height cycle. It's very complete. <laughs> it's very complete. That's what I like about the visions that the artist made. It's very complete. Ciao. Beautiful.